How much do we have? Okay, so we have 48 energy. Now, here's the thing, okay? I definitely want to continue one because that 200 right there, that 200 minor moat, uh, sorry, uh, major moats, those are big. As you see with me saving up, especially melee character uh, uh, moats right now, before I decide who to bring up for Rift Raids, those are big. So I'm going to do the max out trick. Okay. I'm going to work on the max out trick here because 48 energy, I might, I might be able to complete a whole dungeon, but I think I'm going to get through four. Okay. So let's go to the items for a second here. Let's go to the store. Let's see if there's anything good to grab first from the bazaar. Of course, nothing. We've got dungeon revives, so I'm not going to get them. Okay. Let's go to items. Okay. So let's look at the dungeon items themselves. I've got three dungeon revives, which will literally bring, if you're in the middle of one of the floors, you do a battle and your guardians die, but one survives and you can continue through the dungeon. One of them has to live. You'll advance, but you got to bring them back to life. That's what the dungeon revive will obviously do. The dowsing ones will automatically teleport you to an artifact. But if there's no artifact, you just waste it, which is the downside there. Uh, then you have your magical maps, which clears the entire fog. And then your scrolls. That one does four. This one does eight spaces that you can move without being detected. Oh, Sora, it's all about the dungeon right now. Until raids come out, at least it's all about the dungeon. So knowing your gear and take it, taking advantage of your gear is so important. Know how to take advantage of your gear. So here's, I'm going to show you, this is a, a dungeon run where I'm going to do no battles. None. I'm not going to attack any characters whatsoever. Okay, so here we go. Okay, it doesn't matter who you put in. Just put in anybody that gives you a bonus multiplier, right? Cool. Okay, we're going to run the exact same team. Why? Because it doesn't matter. And then we're going to do this. All the way up. Because it gives you the best possible loot and rewards. Most importantly, it gives you the most points. So enter on in. And also, this is not my discovery. This has been a thing way before I started playing Mirrorverse for a while. Not my thing. Okay. First thing you do, you don't you don't go around blindly. You gotta have maps. Do it if you have maps. Open up the maps. Because look at the size of the map you're dealing with here. Okay. Take a look at where your spaces are. If you're really, really far. Like I am in this case, right? I have three wands that will automatically teleport me places. Plus, I have those scrolls that will allow me to move but not be detected. So I want to figure out with as little energy as possible when to use those three wands. Now, this could be a great instance to do so because if I, let's say go from this upper portion here and I attack these three art pieces right here, maybe even the extra chest. If I were to go down to the bottom corner artifact also, that would end up using a potential one, two, three, four, five, six, seven extra energy to do that. Well, six extra energy to do that. That's, you know, an eighth of what I have left. So I'm going to do this. I've got to move to get to the first artifact that I want to hit, right? I got to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got to move seven in total. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to use one of the big scrolls first. Now, I'm going to be able to move eight spaces and not increase that bar above me. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to open. All right, paid off that time. Five, six, seven. Okay. Now I'm going to be able to go back. Now, because I've gone over those spaces, right? 
because the spaces here are now yellow, right? If I go back over them, not for the first time, but the second time that I go over these paths along the way, right? It will increase the bar above me less. So you want to use your scrolls not on spaces that are red. Uh, sorry, not on spaces that are yellow. You want to use them on spaces that are red. So if it does go up, it doesn't go up as far, right? So I've, I've got a free one here. But take a look. If I got a free space, would it make sense to go down or would it make sense to backtrack? In this case, I'm going to backtrack because I'm going to want to use as little red general dungeon energy as possible. So we're going to go up two, three. See, it only moves up just a little tiny bit. But if I go down and I do a red space, watch how much it jumps. See, it's three times the amount of charge in here in the meter. Okay, whoops. Okay, so now, this is where we start playing, doing the math game, right? We've got some spaces to deal with. I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'll show you why. Where is, I'm gonna do the smaller invisibility scroll. This is only four spaces of that being frozen because my next four spaces are going to be red, right? So here we go. One, get the artifact. I'm gonna use the wand now. Dowsing wand because I know there's an artifact. So it's, there's only one left, so I know it's going to teleport me right on down over there. Jadif coming on down with the follow as well. Thanks for putting your name down on the guest list, Jadif. How you doing? Good, sir. Yeah, Mirrorverse content. Absolutely. Now we can go one, two. So we're two spaces away. One's for free. One's for them. There. I did the whole floor. No battles. I got 720 points and move me that far up from levels 13 through 14 and a half. Let's go for it again. Okay. Once again, first thing we do, open up a map. Now. Okay. So we have a total of one, two, three, four, five. We have five uh, artifacts to grab here. So you want to find the path of least resistance to get you there. One, two, three. And you want to see where you stop along the way because your stops can help you determine if you're using a T1 scroll or a T2 scroll. What I mean by that is over here, okay? So if I go to the left, it's going to go west, west, north, and then stop. Then I can go one more space over to the east and it will stop me again. That's four spaces and I'm stopped. So if I go ahead and I use an invisibility scroll, use, I'm going to not accidentally go over. So I'm going to go over one, two, three. Don't teleport me. Good. Took a chance. Four. Okay. So now I'm stopped. So now the bar. As you notice, the bar also went down just a tad. It'll go down a tad every time you go through a door into the next floor. It'll go down a tad again. Okay? So here we go. So now we're just going to take the one, one space. Because we got to look at where our next stops are going to be, right? So the next space I'm going to do, I'm not going to use a, a, a Gumazagama for because I'm going to go up, take it. I'm going to go down. Okay, so we'll call that one and a half spaces. One, two, three, one, two, one, two. Yep. Now we go ahead and use the invisibility scroll. The small one, four spacers once again. The invincibility scroll freezes that little bar right there. So now you notice the bar up above my head over the next four spaces won't move. One, two. That's the big one, the red one. That's the most points. Go up to more. Three, four. I'm at an intersection. Now, I've got a lot of things around me. We're doing energy efficiency. You should not be opening too many of the chests of chances, especially on such a large map. 
This is a huge map, so I'm not going to do it this time. Okay, we're going to leave this one here. Mark coming on in with the sub again. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate you, good sir. Second month in a row. How you doing? How you doing, good man? Let's go on in. Now we've got to do one, two, over, over, and then up, up. Because we got to get up all the way over there, right? So now we have to decide, are the scrolls worth using now or later? So why is it if the bar, why is it bad if the bar makes you attract enemies? Because the team power of the enemies that will hit me, it recommends is 25,000. That's literally impossible. That's like level 100, max signature, max everything ability, astral 10 level characters. You do not want to face any of them. Here, it is a guaranteed death. Yeah, Jodif is a guaranteed death. If we, if we make it to floor, whatever our top floor is going to end up being, I'll show you what that battle looks like. But you don't want to get to that battle because you cannot win. You could be a level 200 player with astral six, seven, eight characters. You will not win. <laughs> I'll show you. Okay. So let's see. We got to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that'll pause me and sacrifice too. Yep. So we're going to do that. We're going to do another big invisibility scroll here. So here we go. We've got space one, two, three. Grab the item. Go back. We don't want to overtrack these too many times, but now we're going to go up. Grab the item. Up. Grab the item. Now I'm going to hit two of these, and that's completely fine. Because see where the bar is. Okay, let me go back. So see where the bar is now. We're going to go through the door. And notice that it does go down a little bit. We got all six artifacts that gave us over 3,000 points. That just moved us through 15, 16, and halfway between 16 and 17. So now look at the bar. It went back down. That's why you want to keep it, and you want to keep it low. Because if you can get through four floors, you've done your job. It is impossible to complete five floors. So do not use resources on the top floor if you make it to the top floor. Don't. Stop. Don't. It's a waste because you can only collect if you make it through the door and beat the boss if there's one involved, which happens on floor five. So don't do that. Correct, Sora. You want the artifacts. You do not want the chests. The chests, you run risks. They can pay off, but they run risks. So it depends. Okay, we're going to use another map. Let's open up the whole map. Bada bing. All right. See? So here's a perfect example, right? I've only got two artifacts, sorry, three artifacts to collect on here. I have to be careful and smart not to over piss off the meter above me. Now, at the same time, I still only ha I have two dousing wands. I have four invisibility scrolls and one large invisibility scroll still to go. So I'm going to run. I'm going to let the meter run up a little bit. Not a lot, but a little. OK, there's too many chests here in a condensed area, and there's this giant open area down in the bottom corner. And that's a far way. It's not like the, the portal itself was in the middle of the map where it'd be easy to get to if you got teleported. I wouldn't want to run that risk here. So we're just going to, on this one, I'm going to leave it. Some people like to play the wild card a little bit. I'm not going to play it too much. Two spaces. Boom, boom. Boom. Okay. Boom. We're going to run this up just a tad, just a tad. Okay. I'm going to run it to there. Because how many spaces do I have left to get out the door? Four. I don't want it to go up anymore. I'm going to go on in, use the smaller invisibility scroll, right? And now I'm out there. Leave it. 
I'm out there just on energy alone. I have seven energy left heading into floor number four. Now I have to get through seven spaces, ideally. Seven spaces. So let's see if that's even possible. It's always worth using the maps if you're doing this strategy. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. This one's going to be tough. This one's all going to really come down to the wand. Where does the dousing wand take us? Because when you use a dowsing wand, right, in this map, there are one, two, three, four, five, five artifacts. Depending on which one the wand takes us to can change what we do. So we're going to see where the wand takes us. Which artifact is it going to teleport us to? Okay. Okay. That's actually like best case scenario. Because if I go up, that's one energy. Then I go down, back to where I am. Down, down, west, west, west. I'll just make it out of there. So on this floor, look, because if I use another wand, right, it's going to move me all the way to either over there or move me all the way over here. I'm either going to have to A, collect all those items and then have to use orbs to gain the energy packs from the dungeon store. I could spend 25 orbs, get 10 more energy, which could be worth it. You know, 25 orbs and it would move you up another. Let's see. That's a yellow. That's two more yellows. So those yellows are going to give you 100 points each. Sorry, 120 points each. Mm, you know what? That might put me over the top. That might put me past that 18 level. And if I can get over there. Uh, team power 29. No, my team power is like, look at mine. Do the math. Okay. My team power is what? 35, 36. Like it's not high. I'm not trying to do any battles. That's the whole goal here is don't do battles. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to spend the 25 orbs. But just know you've got not seven energy left. If you wanted to spend no orbs whatsoever in this scenario, you would literally be able to take where you are, go up, that's one, down, back to where it is. Down, that's two. Down, that's three. Over, that's four. Over, that's five. And then over, out the exit, that's six. And I'd be out of there home free. But for 25 orbs, I'm going to try to push past level 18 right here. So for me, that's worth it. I'm going to take that chance. One. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to take take some heat here. Take some heat up above me. Okay. It's going to stop me. I want to get up there. Now from there, I've only got one place to go. If I use my wand, I'm going to use my wand. It's going to shoot my butt all the way down to that bottom corner where the last artifact is. Cool. Cool. Now I'm going to use the multi-stepper so I don't increase the bar above my head any further. As I go on down, I go to the store. I'm going to use the 25 orbs to get 10 more energy. That's 10 more steps because I've got just about that far to go. We're going to ignore these things because we want to get out the door. See? And there it is. Did that push us over? Another 5,800, and that pushed us over that level 18 right there. Okay? Now, right here, look, you got three energy left. And again, this is floor five. The only way to collect on floor five would be to beat the boss on floor five. And that's literally impossible. So just for kicks, I'll go ahead and I'll do that. Not beat the boss. I'll face the boss. But I'm going to lose all different kinds of tremendously. Oh, actually, ooh, actually, I won't. I won't because I'm going to run out of energy and I'm not spending the 50 orbs. 
I'm not going to be able to collect it. I'm just going to hit it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I'm out of energy. That's it. That's it. So, honestly, I'm just going to exit out. I'm going to quit. Boom. There it is. That's where I end up. Just walk out. Done. All my energy is gone. That's a pretty darn nice achievement. Pretty darn nice achievement. Check all of that out right there. We started this with 45 energy, and we were at le just before level 14. We went from just before level 14 all the way through past level 18. And it cost us some gear that we progressively got in the stores throughout the week, and we pushed hard to do so. Here's my other piece of advice for you. If you're going to do this strategy, do it on the last day that you're going to be doing it, which is typically on a Monday, because the Monday one has four days. You have more time. You have further you can go, deeper into the dungeon time and the amount of energy you get, which means the further you go in the potential resources, resources over here, there they are, that you end up gaining. Avatars go away for a bit. Thanks, guys. Okay. So you want to do that. How often do you do this? I, once a week. The month, the last dungeon, when you end up having just enough energy that you know you cannot complete five floors with, you have like 40 ish energy left, or you've got like even 20 or 30, go ahead and do the max out and do as many floors as you can. But do it only if you're going to use gear that you have acquired. You know, because now I'm out of almost my ma almost all my magical maps. You know, I'm out of uh, dowsing wands and scrolls. Now those can be got gotten within the bazaar via orbs or gold. They pop up in there in different ways. It's about your resource management. Where do you need to use your resources? Me, I'll say a hundred orbs is completely worth pulling up, you know, five magical maps. Because look at how much gear that 100 orbs just got me. All the little scrolls I got with gold. You know, 2,500 gold, 5,800 gold, whatever it is, like, it's worth it. Uh, so do the dungeon on Monday, stack all your energy. Well, now, with the new dailies, Sora, I'd actually say otherwise. I'd say do at least one floor per day. At least one floor per day, ideally three, because the dailies reward you for that. Crystals, Guardian, Supply, Alliance. Yeah, you want the Alliance Milestones. That right there, the working together. Because the Alliance Milestones can come from Delve Together, which is doing your dungeons. Whoop. Yeah, that's the one. I was like just making sure it's the right one. But yeah, it's the Alliance Milestones. So only on the last day before Dungeon Reset, so Monday night or Thursday night, because it'll reset the following afternoon, Tuesday at, you know, 1600 UTC or Friday at 1600, uh, sorry, 1800 UTC. Um, at that point, make sure you're doing it before that on those days at those times. Do not do this on day one, two or three, unless if it's a short week, <laughs> but it can be done. Uh, any strategy on how to beat towers when you're